Hello, it's Magic here and it has been a year since the last video in this series. So I left you guys for over a year waiting for an answer if 85mm f1.4 G Master mimic 135G Master when we turn it into crop mode, so APS-C mode on your camera. So here's the thing, I've been doing these comparisons with one lens turned into APS-C mode versus another lens, so like testing kind of this dual focal length of one prime lens. And I made three videos in this series so far. So first one was 24 millimeters because 24 millimeters in APS-C mode gives you 35 millimeters, all right? And the second one was 35 millimeters because 35 millimeters in crop mode gives you 50 millimeters. So 35 versus 50. Then the third one was 50, although the 50 cropped gives you 75. So it's not exactly 85. The results were still really interesting, especially if you could just like take a one step forward with a, a 50 in crop mode and it gets you like very close to 85 millimeters. So now it's time to answer the question with 85. So 85, one, four, uh, when you turn camera into APS-C mode, it actually turns into 130 millimeters f2.1 equivalent. So it's not exactly 135.18, but it's pretty damn close. It's like more close to 135 f2. And I'm gonna show you photos side by side, taken on tripod with a model, my wife standing in the same position. And you can actually check the gallery that I made. And the gallery I made was made using PicTime, which is a sponsor of this video. But uh, before I show you the images, very important clarification. So if you use crop mode in your camera, you're actually cropping the image, meaning you're losing the resolution of your full raw, okay? So the last year I have been using Sony a7 IVs and these cameras have like 33 megapixels and like full raw mode. If you turn them into APS-C mode, you get 16 megapixels, which in my opinion is just not enough. Like 16, it's just like, Mech. And the thing with cropping in camera, so using APS-C mode, is that you cannot uncrop the image, so you lose the resolution, you cannot take it back, and it's basically identical to cropping the image in post from full raw. So, in, in like in my case, the last year I have not been using a crop mode, APS-C mode, on my cameras, like, ever. Like I haven't used it even once other than these test videos. But this year I have switched to Sony a7R 5s and these cameras, they have 61 megapixels, which I don't use on a daily basis. On a daily basis, I use medium raw that has 26 megapixels. 26 megapixels, it's kind of plenty. Like I wish it was 30, but it's 26. But check this out. The cool thing about Sony a7R5 is that when you use full RAW and you turn your camera into APS-C crop mode, it also gives you 26 megapixels. So how I have been using this camera is on mode dial one, I have set up my main settings, meaning my file setting being medium raw. So I'm just shooting 26 megapixels full frame. So like I, I have my full image being 26 megapixels, but on my mode dial number two, so whenever I switch to number two, my file settings, they switch to full raw, but cropped to APS-C mode. So I also get 26 megapixels, but now I have the cropped image, meaning I have like a bigger reach with the lens. And this is how I have actually been shooting for quite a few weddings now and using one prime lens as this dual kind of lens. Right, retaining the same file size, which is awesome because like all my files are exactly the same size, 26 megapixels. How cool is that? Big brain here, right? So let's take a look at the gallery. And as I said, this gallery is made by PicTime. And in this gallery, I actually included all the previous comparisons as well. So you can check it out. So you can check out 24 versus 35, 35 versus 50, 50 versus 85, and now 85 versus 135. And speaking of big time, I have to give them a huge applause because they're, they're amazing. They're my go-to gallery to provide my photos to my wedding clients, to share my photos with my wedding clients. 
It's beautiful design. It's packed with features like integrated store, marketing automations, and email campaigns that just go automatically. It's just amazing. And now two of my favorite features are slideshow designer, and the new blog designer. And just a couple weeks ago, they have introduced AI writing assistant for the blog features. So now, if I want to blog a wedding, I can simply input some brief information about the wedding. It asks me like a bunch of things and I will get the description that will help this blog to rank in Google. This tool is amazing. PickTime is amazing. Thanks so much, PickTime, for sponsoring this video. Check it out, sign up for a free trial to test it out and use code MAGIC to get extra month for free. And I hope you've been looking at the photos when I was talking about pick time. So like, check this out, they're actually very close. So what do you see here for sure? 135.18 has more background blur because it's 1.8 and, and more of that 3D magical pop. So we get like kind of more dreamy look that 1.8 versus 2.1 equivalent actually makes a difference here. But if you do not own 135 and have 85.14, turning it into crop mode gets you like 90% there as you can see like you get like very close image to what you would get from 135 like minus that extra 3D pop and I personally do not own 135 and I have used 85 like this for the past couple weddings and I have to say like this is very convenient to have it set it this way and of course if your primary you know way of business is shooting those portraits or like senior portraits like baby portraits in the grass and all stuff like this like that 135 18 like you cannot mimic that you need that 3d pop and you want that blur to be like as much as you can like this is why people you know buy those lenses for so of course 135 is a must for you but if you don't have it and you have already 85 you're getting really close to that look with just the crop mode but there is a but and it's a pretty big one 8514g master is one of the oldest lenses for like sony mirrorless system like the i think it's the oldest g master just like one of the oldest g masters versus 135 is just way way newer having linear motors and like amazing sharpness and you can feel that difference so like technically when speaking about these two lenses 135 is just superior like way superior it's just sharper it's faster uh yeah it's sharper and faster basically that's that what you need from the lens i guess and 85 millimeter out of focus is not even close to the performance of 135 so if you for example don't own any of these two you don't own 85 you don't own 135 and you need one long lens like this probably 135 would be a better idea because it's just a better lens better value and also like 135 in crop mode will give you like 160 so you get quite of a reach with a lens like this if Sony ever comes up with the newer version of 85G Master, which they have been rumored for years now, we have been waiting for 85G Master version 2. And if it would be f1.2 lens, that would be a killer lens because 85.1.2 in crop mode would actually give you 131.8. So you would even have that extra blur and 3D pop with a lens like this. So let's keep our fingers crossed that 85.1.2 is on the horizon. And in the meantime, make sure to check out the gallery and I see you guys in the next video.